Hello Internet World. Welcome to the first of a couple of videos I'm going to make on 6th grade statistics. And this would be lesson one on the measures of center by me, Miss Musgrove. So to start this video off, let's uh, just talk about what statistics is in general, because that's probably a new word to some of you. Uh, and it's a division of math and science. It's also used for science. Um, and it's a way that data is collected, and this can be in mostly numerical form or some way to turn uh, category data into numbers. So big number sets, ways to analyze these data sets um, to hopefully be able to make predictions about the type of data that we collected. So the way that you generate um, a good set of data is with a good statistical question. And the responses that you get to these questions will be what generates your data sets. And a lot of times these can be in a survey type format. So a good statistical question example would be, how many pets do you have? So say you ask some people um, that you know this question, and you got a few answers back. Uh, one of your buddies said three, uh, grandma said four, your cousin-in-law said one, your other cousin by marriage said one, uh, your dog said zero because dogs can't have pets. Um, your crazy aunt with five cats told you she had five. Uh, your teacher has two, and your principal has three. And there you go. You got a set of numbers that you can now calculate statistics about. And we are going to use this data set to calculate the measures of center. So when I say measures of center, you can abbreviate that MOC, um, there are three. And they are mean, which is the average of a data set, median, which is the middle of an ordered data set, and mode, which is the number or numbers that appear the most within a set. And it's possible that you can have no mode at all if all the numbers only appear once. It's possible to have multiple modes, and it's possible to have a single mode. It's just the number or numbers that appear the most in a, in a data set. So let's start with mean. So remember that mean is the average. So this is the set of numbers I have um, from the other slide. Uh, 3, 4, 1, 1, 0, 5, 2, 3. So to find the mean of any data set, what you do is you add all the numbers that you have together and then you divide by how many numbers you had in the set total. So if I want to count how many numbers I have in this set, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? So I have 8 numbers in the set. I need to add the numbers together and then divide that sum by 8, and that's going to give me my mean. So when I added up all these numbers together, I got um, 19. And 19 divided by 8 gave me 2.375. So that's my mean of this data set. That is the average of this data set. It's 2.375. So next up on our measures of center is the median. And the median requires you to put the data set in order from least to greatest. So I want to just do that real quick. So I have 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5. So I have put this set in order from the least number, 0, to the greatest number, 5. Um, so the median is the middle number of the data set. So I need to find the middle. And if I'm looking at this, I know from finding the mean, there are 8 numbers in the set. Well, that's an even number of numbers. That means the perfect middle of this set is going to be right here. But that's not a number. If I split this set in half, right down that line, I have four numbers in the bottom half and four numbers in the upper half. Now we get to later videos on measures of variation, that's going to come into play um, when we're finding quartiles. But when you just find the median of the set and you have two numbers that actually fall in the center, you have to average those two numbers together to find the middle point between those two numbers. So if I want to average two and three, we just learned how to calculate averages. So you add those two numbers together. That's going to give you 5. And then you divide by how many numbers that you average together. Well, I averaged these two numbers together. 
So 5 divided by 2 gives me 2.5, which makes sense because 2.5 is halfway between a 2 and a 3. So this here is your median of your data set, the middle number, where the middle falls. Okay, last but not least, we have the mode. So mode, you don't have to have the numbers in order to find it, uh, but you have to find the number that appears the most. It can be more than one number that appears the most, um, and it actually can be no number that appears the most. If all the numbers only appear once, then that would be a case where you have no mode. But in this case, I see two different modes. I see that I have two ones, and I also see that I have two threes in this data set. So that means I'm going to have two modes. They both, both appear one uh, more than one time. They both appear twice, to be more specific. Okay, so my modes, I'm going to say plural, are going to be one and three. You can have two modes. In this case, I do. So, in conclusion, we calculated three measures of center for that specific data set that we generated with our statistical question of how many pets do you have. Um, and what you can find from measures of center is where the center of the data set is going to fall. So, the actual data set is falling between that two and the three when they're in order from least to greatest. So, looking at these three measures of center, they're all kind of right there by two and three. So, these will be good statistics to use for the measure of center of that specific data set. So, that's statistics part one on measures of center. And this is the end. Thanks for watching.